What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I, I guess I'm gonna film like a little day in the life today. I don't really know. I don't really have much going on, but you know, I kind of just want to film some of these slower days too. So, which is like the majority of the time. So like, may as well just film like every day in real life is what I'm doing. Um, usually I don't go out during the week while Kanoi's at work until like he gets home because like why, why should I do that? Um, unless I really need to. So today I am going to pick up our grocery pickup. So I just got both the girls bed and dress. And when I say dress, I mean like their diapers changed and <laughs> fresh PJs on because you know, we're not really going anywhere and it's kind of like a rainy day. We have been doing like daily walks. So I'll kind of take you guys along with that later today. Um, but it's been like super hot, sunny weather. And today it's actually rainy and um, so I figured we're just gonna do a PJ day because usually I dress friendly. Margo's always like just in a onesie, but um, yeah, we're just gonna have like a chill PJ cozy day until we go for our walk tonight. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick up groceries and I'm just gonna make coffee right now real quick so that it can be ready um, by the time I get home because I cannot survive my days without my pot of coffee. <laughs> So that's pretty much what's going on right now. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna make my coffee. It's been quite some time. But you gotta let me know if I'm out of line. We got matching Crocs for Mama and Renly today. Renly, show your OOTD. Say PJs and Crocs for the win today. <laughs> yeah. Show your Crocs. Oh, gosh. Show your Crocs. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cute. Renly got a couple teeth in. You want to show your teeth? Say cheese. Cheese. You can't see them. <laughs> we'll try to get them later. Okay. Let's get in the car. Come on. As soon as I go to vlog the tornado sirens come on. I don't think you guys can hear them. I think it's like doing a lap right now. Yeah. Okay, well, hold on one second. <laughs> okay, I think they're done. So, okay, I'm waiting for my grocery pickup. They're actually taking a minute because I've been sitting out here for a couple minutes. Usually they're like right out and I get worried because I can already hear Marco starting to fuss. So hopefully they come out pretty quickly, but um, I was going to get Starbucks, but I totally forgot that I made that coffee at home, so it'll be fine. But also, it's like really muggy outside. I was thinking it was going to be nice, like, like rainy, cooler day, but it's like so muggy. It's like gross and like warm. So I'm like hot in this sweatshirt, but I have to wear long sleeves because I got a new tattoo last week. 
Um, I'll show you guys when I get home. I mean, I can show you now, but I'll show you when I get home. It's like, I got it on Friday and today's Wednesday, so it's been five days and it's like starting to peel. It's like that healing, it's going through the healing process for the next like week or whatever. So um, it's starting to peel and it's starting to get itchy. It started peeling yesterday and today it's like still peeling and itchy. So I think they're coming. So let me talk to you guys once I get back. are both napping right now. Margo's over there and Renly's in her room. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my tattoo real quick. Like I said in the car, keep in mind that it is on day five of healing. It's itching and peeling, so it doesn't look um, what it's you know gonna be, but I will insert a picture of what it looked like fresh out of the tattoo shop as I'm showing you. So um, here we go. Okay, here she is. Let's see if we'll focus. Here we go. She is so beautiful. Um, I actually got it done by an apprentice. Let me open up this one. Okay. It's kind of hard to show. Okay, hopefully that's focused, but yeah, so she was done by an apprentice. Um, I will leave her info in the description, her Instagram, if you're like local to Kansas City. Um, she does really cool like American traditional work, um, which I have been like loving lately. I hope that's focused, um, but I just really wanted um, this really cool girl. She basically um, had a photo up on her Instagram of... Um, something like really similar to her and um, I loved it but I kind of wanted just to make it like like more personal to me so I um, sent her an email and just kind of told her like what I like that I loved that um, drawing that she did but I wanted to make it more personal so I just gave her like some ideas to play with so basically like I'll, I'm gonna put the original picture of what I saw on her Instagram um, that she had available for um, like sketches or whatever and then I'm gonna put like the picture of what I actually got so you'll see the two right here um, but basically I just like I said told her I wanted to make it make it more personal to me so I added I asked her to ask to add hearts and um, the girls names she did the initials which I actually love much more I was saying um, basically she's great um she started tattooing in january she's really good i think she was already like previously an artist but um she literally had my idea sketched out when i got there um she just made some like a few tweaks to the details um margo's like fighting her now it's okay baby it's okay shh, shh, shh. um so yeah, she did really well. Um, like I said, I'll leave her Instagram down below. And I'm obsessed with the way that it turned out. Um, I basically told her I wanted to add the hearts with the girls' names um, and either keep the, he uh, the headband or do a Western hat, which we ended up doing the hat. And um, couldn't decide if I wanted black or white or color. And um, I'm so glad I ended up going with a little bit of color. I did already previously have 
my Lavian Rose tattoo that's red, so I feel like it kind of like ties in with her. Um, and she did have like other colors planned, as you can see in the sketch, um, or originally with the like original drawing, but I didn't want that much color just because it's not my style. I love it, I think it's beautiful, but I am glad that I did end up going with like the reds and pinks because it totally is exactly what I wanted and like matches my vibe. So, um, yeah, I love it so much, um, but otherwise. Yeah, I definitely want to go back and get tattooed by her. Um, can always, I think I'm going to get a tattoo by her in a couple weeks. So I'll keep you guys updated with that. But let me show you Margo real quick. She's such a sweetheart. You can see her little <laughs> side eye. She's so biting her nap. She just likes to be bounced and she likes the attention. Yeah, she's so sweet. She's seven weeks old as of Monday. Today is Wednesday, so she's getting so big. She's a chunker. She's way bigger than what Renly was at her age. 